what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since we've had a sit down video the main reason why i haven't had a sit down video with you guys in a while is because i have not known what to talk about i have been struggling to talk about something on here but i want it to be meaningful so i'm like let me just take a beat do some vlog videos so y'all can at least see me and know that i'm still here and i'm my channel is still active and stuff taking that time away from doing these kind of videos has really helped me really focus on what god wants me to speak to y'all because that's the main point of me doing this this is for jesus this is not for me this is for me to help you guys and those who are out there who feel like they are far from god but want to become closer or don't know how to read the bible or whatever the case may be so today we're just going to do a little bit of bible studying this may be a two-part series it might be i don't know yet it might be um but today we're just today we're just going to talk about some things that i kind of read on today in my time with god and some reflection that i had that maybe could help you guys it, has, it really helped me see a lot of things that within me and a lot of things that I've been struggling with that I knew I was struggling with but didn't know why I was struggling or where it came from or like the root of the problem. So that's what this video is going to be about. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can know what other videos are coming up. So I want you guys to get your Bibles, um, get your notebook, get you a pen, a highlighter, whatever the case maybe get your bible study essentials and just kind of bible study with me okay so we're going to go into galatians 5 it talks a lot about our matters of the flesh and how our flesh can all the things of our flesh try to fight all the things of our spirit then it also goes into the fruits of the spirit which will be the next part that's part two of this galatians five series pointing out some key points some key verses that stuck out to me personally and what they meant to me you guys always ask in the comments always 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 ask what bible i'm reading from so i am reading the she reads truth bible it is the standard uh christian version but today i'm going to read from my church bible and this one is the esv I believe yes ESV and I'll be reading from that one Galatians 5 verse 6 was one thing that stood out to me and it says for in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love so with that verse the reason why that verse stuck out to me because it really emphasized the importance of our relationship with God over the laws of Christianity and so for me I wrote down in my like study bible what is your relationship like with Jesus so that can be like a reflection question for you to ask yourself like what is your what does your relationship look like with Jesus right now um however that may look and how can you improve on that how can you focus on the idea of being like christ which means to be to love others like he would love them um so how are you close to that so then verse 7 says you were running a good race who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth so i highlighted that because it showed me like to be aware of like your community right who do you involve yourself around right are they influencing these bad behaviors pulling you away from christ or are they pushing you more towards christ what are your goals like if you want to be closer with god surround yourself with people who are with god or who are walking with god or who are who may be on the same level as you but they are still trying to pursue jesus this is 16 through 26 goes more into depth about the spirit versus the flesh so Paul is explaining to the Galatians to basically turn away from your flesh and follow your spirit more. And he shows them how to do that. Those are my key points. Those are the things that stick out to me. So make sure y'all actually read through Galatians 5 so you can get a deeper understanding of 
what it is talking about exactly. If you go down to verse 19, it lists all of the works of the flesh. So you have sexual immortality, moral impurity, promiscuity, idolatry, sor sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, faction, envy, drunkenness, uh, carousing, and anything similar to those things. List out all the things that verse 19 lists. So list out all those things. After you write all the, li the list of all the works of the flesh, highlight or mark or dot all of the ones that you feel like you struggle with the most. And then pick like your top four. I picked five because I highlighted five of them. So I picked five of those. So once you pick your ones, then you will write out four questions. So for example, selfishness. In what ways are you selfish? Two, why am I selfish in those ways? Three, how can I restrain from selfishness? And four, who is influencing my selfishness? Or who are the people, who or what are the things around me that are influencing those things. So for me personally, I picked um, some things that I'm struggling with, and this is a very, very transparent moment, but just some things that I am struggling with, um, sexual immortality, moral impurity, jealousy, selfishness, and envy. So those are the thing, those are the five things that I felt like I struggle with mostly and so during my reflection process the one thing that really put me in like this tizzy and I'm like Lord you are really showing me myself and not not the woman that you are calling me to be but the other one you are really showing me what my flesh is like and what my flesh is telling me and how my flesh feels like and and showing me like you are doing good but these are the areas that you could do better or be better and and we all know like god isn't wanting us to be perfect because he know we can't get there we can't be like jesus we can try to be as like as much as we can be like christ but we know and he knows like ultimately we're not going to be perfect there's no way we're going to be perfect we're going to fall short in some shape or form and that's okay like we are human god knows that and that's why he tries to help us work through these things of the flesh so that we can be led more so by the spirit than by the things of our flesh so for me the biggest one was moral impurity so for a while i feel like we all kind of relate to this but like I will have these intrusive thoughts. Lately, they have been stronger than usual within the past year or so. And so I just have certain thoughts about um, just certain things. I'm not going to go deep in detail because I can't get too per These are These are the things that I have to work through with me and God. Like even my godly community that I have, I have a great community of women around me who are followers of Christ and whose main goal is to be like Jesus. Um, and I talk to them about all the things, like all the things I struggle with, we talk about. But this here, I can't talk to them about just because I feel like this is something that me and God has to work through. When I was doing this reflection this morning, I kind of scared myself. Like I was literally in tears because I, God brought light to it. And you know there are some things that when when you're in it it's uncomfortable right and that's the great thing about following christ like yes while we're in the things of or while we're healing from stuff god will show us things and it may be uncomfortable it may be scary and it may make you feel like feel bad about yourself but just know like there is refuge in jesus like these things may seem so big to you but you got to remember our God is m way bigger than this. And so if you constantly remind yourself like the problems that I'm dealing with right now, they seem big right now, but the Lord is bigger and he can overcome these things. Like he can make the impossible possible. So with this, for me, that was something that kept playing in into my mind this morning. And I'm like, this is why I continuously follow 
God and why I continuously walk with God because I know if I was experiencing this in a time where I wasn't close to God or I wasn't walking with God in my faith, like I would be so consumed in it or I would push it down further and further and further and not acknowledging it, one, but not trying to heal from it. And I think that's just something that we all kind of have to be open to. Like, again, yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's gonna, it can be scary sometimes. But the good thing about it is that you can be healed from it through God. All right, so once you get all the things and you do your reflection, just remember to work on these things after the end of this video. Like, don't just stop here. Don't just stop after reading the chapter. Like, keep working on these things every single day and make sure you are seeking God out even in moments of goodness and in moments of bad things happening or when you feel low or when you think about this stuff you're like dang I didn't even realize that that was a that was from my past trauma that I experienced as a child like that's what my moral impurity came from and I that's what God revealed to me is that it stemmed from my childhood trauma and I thought I healed from it but I didn't and that's when it started coming back up and that's why I was so uncomfortable and literally as I'm writing my thoughts out and all the things that I'm feeling and thinking I rushed with tears and just rushed, rushed with emotions because it was just so uncomfortable and it wasn't like I was talking to people nobody else was there it was just me and God and I'm like what? I'm like what is happening but anyways again that's why we follow God in that's why it's so important to keep God close to you because just because of things like this, when you have to have reflection or when something comes up and you're like, man, I didn't realize that this was something I never healed from. That one small thing or that one big thing was something that I never healed from and it's still affecting all the works of my flesh and it's affecting my spirit and how I walk through the world and how I see things and my perspective of the world and people and all those things. So. Just make sure like you really dig deep, deep down inside as you're doing this challenge and this reflection. Jesus loves you. He's here with you as you're doing your reflection. He's continue to seek him out, continue to follow him and he will work all things for your good. So I just want you to remember that and I'm gonna go ahead and pray us out. And I hope y'all check out my next video, but stay tuned because I got some very, very exciting news coming up after prayer. But make sure y'all stay tuned for the next part of this series um, so we can go ahead and pray us out. And I will see y'all in my next video. Lord, we want to thank you for this time. Um, we want to thank you for this time of reflection. Um, we pray that every single person that's watching this video that's behind the screen, I pray for their protection i pray for their breakthroughs i pray that you cover them in your blood jesus and as they go through this reflection allow them to be able to dig deeper and deeper just so they can find healing in whatever they are dealing with or going through lord um i just pray again for this time and thank you for all these people watching and thank you for speaking through me and um, giving me the right words and the right things to say to those who are watching. I pray that this video reaches who it needs to reach and who needs to hear this and allow them to watch it all the way through so that they can know that they are not alone and that they have someone who understands exactly what they may be going through or maybe not exactly what they may be going through but do we do understand that they need you just as much as I need you as someone who is following you, Lord. Um, again, we thank you, Lord. We honor you with our minds, our bodies, our souls, Lord. Um, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You, you, cause I only want you. Yeah. Cause I only want you. I'm so glad you guys made it to this part of the video. I am super, super excited to do this. This is my very, very first time doing this. So I will be doing two Bible study essentials giveaways in for the month of September. So it'll start September 1st and it'll end the last, whatever the last day of September is. So I will be finding two um, winners. So I'll give away a 
Chibi's Truth Bible, and then I'll give away some Bible tabs, and I might throw in a little devotional for you guys. Um, I got to think about the devotional. I'll probably do the devo devotional. We gonna do the devotional. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? My YouTube channel, subscribe right now. Do it right now so you can get your giveaway, so you can be entered for a chance to win. Like this video and comment on this video down below, comment giveaway number one, okay? That's giveaway number one. My next video for the Bible study giveaway part two, I will let you guys know what you have to do to be entered for a chance to win. Tell a friend to tell a friend to do this Bible study giveaway so they can get a Bible and they can learn more about Jesus, okay? Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next time. Peace.